All right, folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech, and today we're going to talk about not the iPhone. I threw the iPhone into the description because basically, uh, after watching a video from Linus over at Tech Tips, if you click on any iPhone video, like, should I buy the new iPhone? Over in your recommended stuff, you're going to get nothing but iPhone recommendations. So I threw iPhone in the title, you know, and I put in, should you buy the iPhone and other technical stuff? The other technical stuff is the real purpose of this video. Should you buy the iPhone? That's up to you. Now, would I buy the iPhone? Absolutely not. I'm going to cut it down to, it's just too damn expensive. And I don't like being looped into a, you know, why you have to do things the Apple way. And, and I don't like listening to a presentation that basically said, well, the battery lasts 30 minutes longer. 30 minutes longer than what? Under what conditions? When? How did you test it? You know, the screen is brighter. Okay, how many nits? Nothing. Just a lot of fluff. Not a lot of substance. A lot of Apple folks out there upset. So, today though, what we're really going to look at is the Logitech K427. They are still available. You can find them pretty rare, but they're out there. Really good Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, 10 it'll hold a 10.1 inch tablet. Save you the big bucks on buying one of them keyboard cases because... It'll work with the next 10.1 inch tablet you get, and the next. Very important. So let's get right to that right now. Um, let's do the intro over here and. All right, folks, today we're looking at the uh, uh, K427 Logitech Bluetooth keyboard. I've had this for a couple of years. You can still find these out on the internet. And if you can find one, and you have one of those newer 10.1 inch or 10 inch tablets, and you don't want to pay 100 bucks for a keyboard, get one of these. If you can find one used on eBay, get one of these. You got to switch over here. You move it three different positions so you can pair up to three different devices. You can also repair very simply. Over here you've got a button for PC and the one next to it is for Android or iOS. Uh, the PC does Android and Linux. Uh, it'll pair right up. So it'll hook up to just about anything that has Bluetooth. Beats the hell out of paying $50 for one of those little keyboard covers. You know, you really don't need one. And of course, on a 10.1 inch tablet, kind of solves the problem of, well, how do I hold my, oh, never mind. You put your 10.1 inch in the slot. Kaboom. There it sits. That's a Chewy High Book 10.1 inch tablet uh, sitting in the slot here. Now, of course, you don't get a whole lot of viewing angle adjustment, but it is what it is. You know, you still get a keyboard that works with it, a full size. Well, almost full size keyboard. You get a, a print screen button. Uh, you just hit control print screen, which is, I believe, yeah, yeah. What's this one way over here? Right there. So, all that being said, I've had this thing for three years. Four set of batteries, literally. That's it. I've lost the back cover. I have no idea where. Just one day it just wasn't there. So, a little bit of green electrical tape. Life is good. That little button here is the on off switch. It'll give you a little green light, which is right under here. Shines through there. Tells me the batteries are still good. Uh, like I said, it creaks and groans a little, but you know what? I didn't buy it to listen to it. I bought it to type on. Keyboard's fairly decent. You can pour water on this thing. 
accidentally I wouldn't recommend pouring like an entire soda on it but it holds up pretty damn well uh, and it still can be found out there it does not have a letter or a, any LEDs other than the one for when it's pairing um, caps lock over here if you hit caps lock guess what you won't know it's on uh, numb lock same thing sorry uh, but it works pretty well and some of these buttons work really well with Android and some of them work really well with PC volume up volume down works with everything it's a decent little keyboard and the battery lasts for freaking ever who wants to charge their little uh, cheap Bluetooth keyboard every other day I don't I throw a couple of double A L cheapo alkalines in and we're done so that's all I got on this uh, I'm gonna follow this up here with some screenshots of places you can buy it and they'll be shown in the description below so Let's get to those right now. Whoops, this thing's shaking all over. I keep forgetting, don't hit the mount with my fingers. All right, folks, Tim here from uh, High End Cheap Deck. Now, I told you I'd point out where you could get the Logitech keyboard, although I kept calling it in the first two sections of the video, the K427. Ignore the crack smoking, uh, hallucinogenic, psycho, babbling twit who did those. Uh, obviously, if you go back here to my own website, tabletserver.com or tablets.yearfreewordpress.com, either one, you will find a boatload of K480. So at one point, I knew what the hell it was, and you can still buy them. $28.95 on Walmart. They only got one left, but I'm sure they'll have more. All over Amazon, and I'm sure that you can get it at a ton of other places. Uh, maybe Newegg still. I bought mine refurbished on Newegg for like $27 with free shipping. So, very cool. Uh... I have no idea. So please read those overlays uh, on top of the video. The bottom line is these things are still out here. They're really good. Uh, I don't know why. I thought the K480 and the K380 uh, I mean, I knew about them, and originally the K380 was the better, you know, newer version, but you couldn't get it yet, so I bought the K480. It only had the rotating button, not the little push buttons. Other than that, they were very similar. Uh, I don't think the uh, K380 had the slot, though. So, please, when you watch the first the intro and then that first section where I'm showing you the Logitech I don't have any idea where the number K427 came from I mean I've kind of always liked the uh, Chevrolet 427 Chevy but <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is not relative to keyboards so there are some titles that will pop up note those don't give me any crap about them and that's all i have for today we're done i would go back in and edit all that audio but i already spent four hours in this and that ain't happening so y'all have a good night and thanks for watching